Hello Capricorn and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. All right, so yeah, someone's feeling this pressure, okay? Um, ready to explode. Yeah, they want a commitment with you, Collective. Um, they can't stop thinking about you. They're going over all the fond memories um, of when you were together. I, I'm hearing that they're figuring things out. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Figuring things out. So um, maybe they're realizing that they went to the wrong person. They're remembering how you were. They're dreaming about how life would be with you. Okay, your energy isn't even a part of this anymore. I feel like you're completely focused on yourself. Um, you're on a glow up here because no one else in this theater is going to have a glitter box of popcorn. But your box is a glitter box of popcorn. Okay, so I feel like, yeah, you're on a major glow up and you're taking time for you. I feel like you're detaching here. Strong detach. You just, you know... Um, you don't want to be a part of this connection right now because I feel like you're getting nothing from it but grief. And you want to pull away from that negative energy. I'm also feeling like there could have been a timing factor when it came to you two getting together. Like I feel like this was the right person just at the wrong time. Maybe they were already with someone else. Um, I kind of am feeling that, that third party situation. Yeah, they were with somebody very fake. Um, I feel like this person has possibly, yeah, they've cut out this karmic situation. That's history. This person has learned their lesson and they know they're in love with you. But like I said, I feel like you're done. You've learned your lessons from this last cycle and you've completed the last cycle properly and you're ready to move forward right now you're in this time where you're kind of like um getting your rest rejuvenation um focusing on things that you enjoy doing okay raising those vibrations thinking about i mean you're looking um you're looking forward here into your future. So I feel like you're doing some manifesting. I feel a busyness off of you as well. So maybe you're kind of like running around, tying up loose ends, right, um, of things from your past. Like This could be like may, maybe paying some bills off or... Um, Getting, you know, getting all of your appointments made, okay, that you need to catch up on. Or um, this could be like, um, let's just say you're, you're looking to buy a new home. This could be you um, going and getting your bank statements and going and getting pre-approved. It's something about that you're really busy um, preparing for what is to come and tying up the loose ends from anything else that was um, lingering from this last cycle, okay? So, yeah, it's kind of like a you time kind of thing right now. And this person, I feel like they are ending things with this karmic situation. That's history. I feel like somebody um, blocked off or cut off this karmic. They were living beyond their means, so the, the money's been cut off. I feel like um, they're trying not to communicate with this karmic. I am feeling like the karmic is trying to talk to them, though, so maybe they had to block this karmic off of their phone. Um, yeah, I feel like th this energy is being cleared out, but your person may still, if they were committed... In a marriage with this person, there could be some um, financial support, some uh, a divorce case, right? Alimony, uh, child support cases going on. Okay, but then that this is like the the tail end of this. So they're also you guys are marrying each, each other. That's what you're doing. They're wrapping up the rest of the loose ends here. Okay, um, from the last cycle stuff, and so are you. So are you. So you're both mirroring each other, but this person wants to come towards you, and I feel like you're walking in a, in a different direction. 
Some of you could be taking a vacation here, but every time I get this card out in this deck, just for me, probably, this is a Fantasy Girl card. I always hear Fantasy Girl by 38 Special when this card comes out. So I feel like this person is doing a lot of fantasizing about you. They may even be wanting to plan some kind of vacation getaway with you. Um, they're really daydreamy about you. Collective, okay? They're daydreamy about you. They dream about you. You may see this person in your dreams. I know I saw mine in my dreams last night. I'll tell you my dream, and I kind of feel like that's what this is. Um, it's got the same feeling. I, I, I was inside a house, and I saw my person's face like I, they were right in front of my window. Uh, but they were with a couple other people, and they were like working, like sweating outside, trying to get something done or something completed or something over, okay? But they were still, they were just outside my window, but um, but they weren't allowed to come in, you know. Um, they were working on something, getting things done, and that's what this is. That's the same feeling. I feel like um, this masculine is, they're going through all the red tape of ending this karmic cycle, okay? Um, and getting things done and clearing out that energy and removing the negativity so that they can come towards you. It says, I feel like this person has been in denial, but I feel like they're not anymore. Um, they're not. They're throwing this karmic out. Um, that's it. They're discarding this third-party situation, this karmic situation, okay? It's over. It's done. Um, I feel like, yeah, there's um, the karmic here is um, gossiping with their friends, maybe even, even laughing at the situation. I feel like they're about to take this person for as much money as they can in a court case. These, um, this feminine energy and their friends are very jealous and envious of you, I feel. But you're not even a part of it. Like I said, you're completely detached. You're done with the situation. You know, yeah, they're going to try to weigh down your person. They're taking them for everything that they can, money-wise, all right? Money-wise. They could even be gossiping about this person, your person um, in the community. But I feel more it's they're planning, plotting to um, really clean this person out of all their money. They want as much money from this masculine as they can get. And uh, I feel like they're very upset with you. I feel like they blame you um, for the end of this karmic situation. And they may want some revenge. But here's the thing. Yeah, you're, you're Audi. Some of you could be um, getting some messages from the divine that the divine wants you to move to a new location. That's I just picked up on that as well. You could be moving away. You could be being spiritually led right, to a new location because um, this karmic wants revenge, right? You're getting um, some kind of messages and dream songs. You can, This masculine, I feel, is also trying to maybe warn you. Um, I feel like they're kind of telepathically sending you a warning about this karmic because they want revenge, okay? I feel like this masculine wants to try to keep the peace with this karmic, but they can't anymore. I mean, once the karmic is cut off of um, financial help, you know, they're going to attack this person's finances whether they like it or not, okay? But they're, they're ending this karmic situation. Somebody could be getting thrown out here, so uh, one of them is going to have to move. If it's a home situation, I feel like it is. I feel like they're going through a divorce here. Okay, yeah, and this karmic is very embarrassed here in the public eye or in their community because um, I feel like they tried to make the community think that this was something that was perfect, you know, but behind closed doors, it was a jealous, envious, fighty, fake mess. And um, yeah, so they're embarrassed. They're very embarrassed. They could be also, you know, getting booted, kicked out of a home, maybe even trying to find a place to live. They could be staying with family, staying, um, I don't know, in a trailer somewhere. Who knows where they're staying? I, I feel like 
they're embarrassed no matter what. It's either the living situation or the fakeness that they try to make other people believe, you know. Uh, yeah, and I feel like they're looking for information online um, that's either going to help this court case or trying to, um, I feel like they're looking for your information or the masculine's information because they're out here gossiping. I feel like they want to ruin your reputation. Okay, they're just wanting to cause some kind of chaos here. They may even be able, they may be even be trying to find out where you live because I'm seeing they may want to unexpectedly give you a surprise visit and just pop up on you somewhere. So they, it doesn't even have to be where you live. They could be trying to find out where you work. They could be trying to find out where you go, where, you know, where it is that you're going so they can be there and pop up and cause a bunch of chaos. I feel like that's when they'll um, spill the tea on your person. Anything that they can think of that's going to try, you know, um, that's going to make you see this masculine in a bad light um, so that this connection doesn't come together. I feel like this karmic is looking for you because they want to talk to you. They want to pop up. I feel like they don't want to talk to you collectively. They want to talk at you. There's a difference. They don't want to talk to you. They, I feel like this person hates you, but they want to talk at you. They want to blame you. They may want to yell at you. They may want to fight you. They may want to insult you. They may want to put you down. They may want to scare you. Um, they, um, they, I, I feel like they're definitely wanting to talk about your masculine. And I feel like your masculine is doing all that they can to, um, keep, like I said, they're trying to keep the peace. They're trying to kind of, I feel like they want to give what this, um, they want to give what this karmic wants to a point. Like they don't want to be completely cleaned out, but they're willing to, they're willing to, you know, pay that child support and that, that alimony. You know what I mean? They want what's fair, right? But um, I feel like they're trying to do everything they can to keep this, this karmic from coming to you. That's really what I'm, I'm feeling here, okay? Um, so, yeah, expect some kind of um, surprise visit from this karmic. They just want to talk at you. Uh, yeah, Divine Masculine. I feel like they're trying to protect you here. They're trying to protect you. They're trying to keep the peace, break free from this karmic in the most peaceful way that they can. But they're also protecting you. And this could go on for days, weeks, or months, you guys. Because especially if it's, if it's a divorce case, it could take months to break free from this karmic. Okay? I don't think this person, this masculine doesn't wait. They don't want to wait that long to come towards you. Um, so they're feeling like they're having to try to get keep control of their own emotions as well. All right. Yeah, see, they don't want to wait that long to come towards you, man. This person, like I said, they're, they're feeling that pressure. They're ready to explode. Um... I know it says rage on this card, but I'm not feeling the rage unless it's from this karmic. This masculine, they don't want to wait this long to come towards you. So they are trying to telepathically communicate with you. I feel that's them sending you a warning and telling you why they haven't been there yet. Or trying to tell you that they're, they're trying to work things out so that they can come towards you as soon as they can. That kind of thing. I feel like this person, um, they're fantasizing about you. The, the, um, the lustful energy that they have for you is um, through the roof collective, okay? It's literally driving them crazy. A lot of tension here off of your person, yeah, because they, they're realizing you're their ace of cups. They want you. They also could be realizing or, or wondering if... Um, you could be having a new connection with somebody else. Clarify this desire. Because you're their fantasy girl, right? Guy, it doesn't matter. It's not gender specific. It's a song by 38 Special, okay, that I'm picking up on. 
Yeah, and this is triggering your person. The thought of you with someone else, because they know if they don't make it to you in time, like this could take months. And they, they're trying to telepathically send you a message, please wait for me. This could take months. Breaking free from this karmic, and they're trying to protect you, right? They don't want this karmic to come anywhere near you. They're trying to protect you, um, and they're trying to keep the peace and going through this court case. And yeah, the thought of you with someone else is, man, I'm telling you, this person's really feeling the pressure. They are. They're feeling the pressure. They, they, um, they're they all up in their head about you. Like, all of this is stuff that they're just thinking about. I mean, you could have already started something with somebody new, but... Um, this is just their imagination here, kind of running away with them. Um, and it's giving them like a panic feeling, okay? Yeah, because, you know, you're their twin flame. You're, they're um, feeling po very possessive of you right now. And they're praying for divine intervention. Like, please, God, please don't let the collective get with anybody else, right? That's what they're, please, please, I've got... It, this could take months. I don't want to lose the collective, right? That's seriously how they're feeling. Um, but this person had ample time. They had ample time to break free from toxic situations and toxic people and, um, you know, heal from any bad behavior, right? Anything that they were doing that was unhealthy, they had time to get out of a home situation, break free and become single. But all they did was obsess about you. And now this is why they're having a lot of anxiety. They're scared, they're panicked because you're getting away. You're getting away. And you may be um, walking right into a brand new passionate love connection with somebody else. Okay, they're freaking out. Um, yeah, I this person... They they want to, I feel like they're trying to negotiate or beg you to just wait because they, they do fully plan on proposing to you in the future, but they have to get single first. They have to go through this, um, this separation here with the karmic. They've got to make sure that the karmic doesn't come to you in a threatening way. Wanting revenge, this person feels very protective, but yet at the same time very possessive. They're, yeah. I feel like they're trying to telepathically communicate with you right now. I, um, they haven't come towards you yet. I don't see this person really t making um, any kind of advancement towards you yet. Okay, they still have to go through this settlement, right? They still have to settle things with the karmic. They, there could be children involved that they're going to be paying child support for. Um, they've, got to, they've got to take care of that situation with the children so the children aren't scared and they understand, yeah. So they still have some obligations over here on this side, but you want this person to come to you single. So, you know, yeah, for them, it's like a double-edged sword here. And that's why it's like their only means of communication right now um, is watching you online. I feel like they watch you. They constantly obsess about you. Um, they, it's like whatever you're posting, they have to see it. Anything on social media, they've got to see it. They're looking at like everything. They're completely obsessed. And um, they're completely in love. And they know it. You may feel this person um, waves of emotion coming over you. You could, you may be able to pick up on this energy, but I feel like whatever this person is seeing on your social media or whatever platform you have um, on the internet, it's really got them shook. It's got them all up in their emotions. They're they're all in their head. They're all in their emotions. This person's in a panic. Um, they don't know how else to reach you besides telepathic communication. They're possessive. Um, they're worried. They're, they have high, high anxiety. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know what they're seeing you posting out there. It could be photos like this, right? Um, it could be photos. It could be maybe possibly news of a new person coming into your life. I don't know what's got them triggered so much, but this person is triggered. Yeah, it makes them sad. They get excited when they see you on social media, but yet at the same time, it makes them sad what they're seeing, okay? And they can't stop watching you. So they're kind of being tortured here. Like emotionally, it's like emotional torture, okay? Because they really, really want to be with you like now. But they can't. I feel like there's someone else watching you as well. Today, I feel like somebody's sending you some bad energy. Um, they may be talking to the karmic, you know, um, having a discussion with a karmic individual today about breaking free earlier or meeting about this um, financial situation or whatever. They're trying to get on the same page with this karmic. So that the karmic doesn't come towards you because they want to pop up. Um, yeah, it's really kind of a mess. This person got themselves into a big mess. But here's the thing. It's got to get worse before it gets better. And I feel like this is the tail end of everything. And it, it's messy. It is. It's messy. And it's very difficult for your person to hold back from coming towards you. But they've got to get through this. And this is like the cleanup. This is the end. This is the closing out a cycle, but it will take time. It could take months. Um, this person, um, I feel like they're getting a lot of signs, synchronicities, or you could be um, seeing repetitive numbers, right? Um, maybe uh, getting messages through song lyrics, through TV ads, you know, wherever. It could be anywhere. Really, it could. Um, I feel like you both are. I'm feeling that mirroring energy. You could be getting warned that this person wants to come back around. They're getting warned that they need to break free from the situation and come to you and do the right thing. Yeah, you're trying to block all of this energy out right now. You're like, I don't want to deal with it. I have my own stuff to focus on. I'm busy, <laughs> right? You're working really hard, growing your finances, your stability. You could be a boss, business owner. Um, and I feel like you're just blocking this energy out. I feel like there, you have some understanding. It's like you can feel, you can sense that this person is in the process of breaking free from someone. You can maybe even feel that they're this um, protective of you. Because they are very protective and possessive right now. I feel like you know that, um, and right now you just don't want to deal with it. Like I said, it's it, for you, it's, it's me time, right? <laughs> this is time you're taking for yourself to, you know, to um, work on your own stability and foundation and level up and listen to the divine and follow instructions of where to go next. And you're, you're thinking about the things you want in your future right now. You're just done. Yeah, you're unplugging. Okay? I feel like you're, you've unplugged from your person's energy, but you're really tuned in to the divine and the, the spiritual instructions. Okay? Um, yeah, very connected here. And I feel like you're, you're tapped into not just the divine, but you're on the internet too somehow. And just know whatever it is that you're putting out there on the internet, this person is watching. They're completely obsessed about you, collective, okay? For someone, like I said, they've, they've um, seen little clues or hints that you may be starting something passionate with someone else. This is driving them crazy. It's driving them nutty. They know they've got to wrap this up the right way, though, with the karmic. They've got to get rid of, they've got to get the karmic out of their life before they come to you. And that's what they're working on right now. Um, let's see what this person has to say, okay? What does this masculine want to say to my collective? So they may be having a discussion with the karmic today. 
that could trigger the karmic to come and pop up on you. But this masculine is trying very hard to stop that from happening. <laughs> it's a crazy, it's going crazy, guys, in the background. Um, I couldn't handle my true feelings for you, so I kept you as a friend and nothing more. Being apart has been more difficult than I can accept. I see you in the face of strangers. You're always with me. I am becoming a better person. I worry that you've moved on and this is all in my head. Is it? Do you still think of me? You were my sanctuary. You were the only person I could confide in and I betrayed your trust. I've committed to someone else because they don't challenge me. Yeah, but they're breaking free from that. I wish I could take back my words. My life is not as together as it seems. Yeah, it's kind of going crazy. Your person's life right now is a mess. You know? Separating from the karmic, trying to keep the karmic away from you, you moving on possibly to new love, and them... Um, feeling a lot of pressure to come towards you and try to get a warning out or something. So, yeah, I'm telling you, um, they've got a lot going on behind the scenes. You, however, are very peaceful. You're moving on. You're at peace with, with everything I feel. You've healed, and you're moving forward, and you're dreaming up your new future. So you're in a good place right now, but your person, they're in a big mess. They're in a big mess. They're in